Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover HTTP session interface. Uh, in left side you can see uh, two clients. Uh, one is uh, Julia and another one is Swaita. Okay. And center you can see the web server. And uh, the web server has uh, servlet container or uh, uh, web container. Okay. So here uh, Julie sends uh, request to the server. Uh, what server will do is uh, it will create the session uh, for the uh, Julie okay so here you can see uh, session is created for Julie and uh, session ID is uh, 111 okay so this uh, session ID will be unique across the server okay and this session ID will be sent back to the Julie okay then uh, if uh, Julie make uh, further request for second request and third request uh, this session ID will be uh, part of the request okay so the container can identify uh, the particular user using the session id suppose uh, julie sends uh, request to the container for the second time or uh, third time so using this session id 111 the container can identify okay this request is coming from julie okay and uh, here you can see uh, swaita swaita sends uh, request to the container so container will create uh, session for uh, swaita and uh, session id will be unique for uh, Swaita okay so in this case session ID for Swaita is uh, 222 and uh, that session ID will be sent back to the Swaita okay so for the second request and third request uh, this session ID uh, will be part of the request okay if uh, Swaita sends request to the uh, server okay so using that uh, session ID 222 the container can identify okay request is coming from Swaita okay so here you can see container creates a session id for each user right so for julie uh, the container created a session id 111 for swaita container created a session id 222 okay the container uses this id to identify the particular user so like i explained uh, uh, if uh, session id is 111 the container will uh, come to know that the request is coming from julie if uh, session id is uh, 222 uh, the web server container will come to know the request is coming from Swaita okay and uh, servlet container uses uh, HTTP session interface to create the session between the HTTP client and the HTTP server okay and uh, one more uh, point is uh, server will uh, maintain the session uh, in many ways uh, like uh, using cookies or rewriting URLs okay and uh, one more point uh, here is an object of HTTP session can be used to perform two tasks. One is uh, bind objects to the session. Okay. So using uh, session dot uh, set attribute method, we can set uh, object to the session and we can use that object in uh, other pages. Okay. And uh, second point is uh, view and manipulate information about a session such as uh, session identifier creation time and last uh, access time so there are methods available in uh, http session uh, interface so using that you can get the session identifier when the session is created uh, when the session has uh, access last time all those information we can get okay and uh, usually uh, session means it is corresponding to one user who visit the site many time okay uh, now we will see how to get the HTTP session object. Uh, the HTTP servlet interface uh, provides two methods. Using that we can get the HTTP session object. The first method is uh, get session method, and the second method is get session. You have to pass the boolean. Okay. So when you call this uh, get session, uh, so what this uh, method will uh, do is it will return current session associated with the request. If uh, the request does not have uh, session then it will create the new one and it will return okay and the second method the get session you have to pass boolean so if you pass true uh, then this method will return current session associated with the request if uh, the session is not associated with the request then it will create the new one and it will return okay uh, suppose uh, boolean is false then uh, what this method will do is it will return current session associated with the request and if uh, no session is associated with the request 
then it will return the null okay uh, it won't create the new session object in case of uh, false okay uh, so here you can see some of the commonly used methods of uh, HTTP session interface the first method is get creation time uh, this method will return the time when the particular session was created and get ID method uh, it returns a unique identifier assigned to the particular session and get last access time uh, this method uh, return the uh, last time when the particular uh, session has been accessed by the client and uh, get uh, max inactive interval method uh, this method will return the uh, max time uh, till that uh, that server container will uh, keep the session open between the client and the server okay basically how much time uh, the session object will be uh, kept by the servlet container okay after this time uh, the session object will be removed from the servlet container okay and uh, invalidate method uh, so if we call this method uh, the particular uh, session uh, object will be invalidated and if we bind uh, any object into it uh, that will be unbound okay uh, so this is about uh, http session interface and uh, thanks for watching bye